Voting was swift and brisk by the time the afternoon arrived at a school in central Clorica. Most residents had already turned out to mark the candidate they felt was worthy of their vote in this second round of Sunday voting. Over 90% turnout here by 4.15, helped along no doubt by the good weather. The Achel party members were waiting for confirmation of the exit polls that pointed to a potential Christophias victory. I'm voting Christophias. I've always voted Christophias. And uh, for the position that my husband's in and whatever, it's, uh, we think he's the best candidate. And how do you think he's going to push forward the Cyprus problem? Do you think he's going to come up with a solution? I hope so, because my husband is a refugee. At the People's Coffee Shop in downtown Clorica, the friendly Achel faithful were waiting in anticipation of the final election results. Early indications showed that Dimitrius Christophius was in the lead, but the words cigar, cigar were being banded in the air before the villagers would allow themselves to give in to the excitement. But as the minutes passed, it was visible on their faces. They felt victory was just a few puffs away. Talking to some of his supporters, Christophius appears to be a man who fosters immense loyalty and belief that he will be the president Cyprus has been long waiting for. It's, it will be better than the other from Casulidis. Christophius is better than Casulidis. In why? In all ways. Do you think Christophius has a chance of solving this big problem, the Cyprus problem? I think that it's better than the other. From, from the is it President Christophias? It's okay. The next five minutes. As the television stations totted up the percentages, the mood shifted as the reality began to hit home in the Casalides camp that it wasn't looking too rosy. Across the road from the Akel faithful nestling sweetly in the side of the village church is the coffee shop frequented by the Thesi Casalides followers. Not so many had showed up, but those that did were not so full of jubilation. It was a close call and they were right to hope Casalides was still in with a chance, but tension was in the air as it seemed clear they'd probably lost the race. Thirty minutes later and the Akel headquarters in central Pavos was alive with supporters chomping at the bit for confirmation of what the exit polls had earlier promised. Children, the elderly and every age group were there to join in with the colourful celebrations to follow. A flock of flags of different meaning, colour and political persuasion appeared as it became clear their man Christophius had won the race. Very happy. You're very happy? I'm very happy, yes. Is this an historic day for Cyprus? Yes. Why? Because he's the, the best man. The usual smoky atmospheric and ecstatic energy wafted around the crowds in and out. We have just found out Christophus is the new president. Well, here I am at the Hell headquarters in Pavel. as the politicians get together and decide how they're going to tackle some of the major issues here, particularly the Cyprus problem, next on the agenda. Communist Christophius is just beginning his journey along the cobbled and pitted streets of Cyprus's mainstream politics. His supporters believe he will not let them down whatever obstacles come his way. They're looking to him to provide a better future for them, their children, and ultimately, their grandchildren. Helen Kramer at the Achel headquarters in Paphos.